Welcome to this video. My name is Phil and I am a senior lecturer in astrophysics at the University of Lincoln. And in this video, I wanted to explain how you can actually calculate the eccentricity of an elliptical orbit. So, what is eccentricity? Well, it's basically how elliptical an orbit is, how far it deviates away from a perfect circle. So on the left hand side, you've got a perfectly circular orbit and on the right hand side, you've got a more elliptical orbit. Now, eccentricity will give you a number which will tell you how elliptical that orbit is. Now, it's dimensionless, so it doesn't have any units to it and it will just give you a number. Now, if it's a perfect circle like this one here, then E, which is your eccentricity, will be zero. What that means is that as the object goes around the bigger object on its orbit, its distance between or the distance between the two objects doesn't change. So it's always the same distance from the bigger object. Now for an elliptical orbit, E eccentricity will be between zero and one. That's if it's an elliptical orbit, which means it's on a bound orbit, so it's going around the larger object. So it has to have a number between zero and one. If it's one, then you end up with a parabolic orbit, so that's not on a bound orbit, and it looks more like this. And actually, if you go greater than one, that would be a hyperbolic orbit. So we're not interested with those with this video. It's more about the elliptical orbits. These are ones that are on bound orbits and will have some eccentricity between zero and one. And how do you actually calculate that? Well, the first thing is if you have a look at the configuration of a well, elliptical orbit like this one here, you've got two distances between the two objects. One of those is the shortest distance, which is the perihelion, and then the longest distance between the two objects as it goes around. That's the aphelion. Now, it's worth noting that I'm using the sun and the earth as an example here. If you use something else, then those names will change instead. So it could be, um, it'll still have the peri in front of things like that, but it'll have a different word at the back end of that. Um, so it might be a slightly different phrase, but anyway, for the earth, these are the words and the phrases you'd actually use for the shortest distance and the longest distance between the two objects. Now, once you have those, you can then calculate your eccentricity from this equation here. So you would subtract the perihelion from the aphelion and then divide that by essentially adding the two together and that will give you a number. Now since I'm using the earth as an example let's just put some numbers in for our orbit and see what our eccentricity is. So the uh, aphelion the longest distance the greatest distance between the earth and the sun on its elliptical orbit is just over 1 AU so 1.0167 AU where AU is an astronomical unit that's the average distance between the earth and the sun and then the shortest distance is 0 0.9833 AU now if you put that into the previous equation you then get an eccentricity of 0 0.0167 so you can try that for all different planets for moons even for anything really that's on, on our orbit on a bound orbit and you should be able to work out what the eccentricity is so thank you for watching and if you have any ideas for future videos then just let me know in the comments